Alright, in this snippet, we're going to look at uh, the trends towards asymptotes. Alright, so so we're looking at asymptotes and trends of graphs. Alright, so let's say if I have uh, a function, okay, when graph on the Cartesian coordinates. Right, with x and y axis, the graph has a vertical asymptote at x equals to negative 1, a horizontal asymptote at y equals to perhaps 2. Then the curve will actually look like this. Then on the other side, the curve looks like this. There's a maximum point, and it goes down towards the asymptote x equals to negative one. Now, um, what do we mean from the graph when x tends to infinity, y tends to two plus? Now, in our lingo, we use this: x tends towards positive infinity. Our y tends to now. When we say x tends towards positive infinity, so on the graph, it is very obvious we are talking about this side. Right? So if you look at the graph, the red line, as x tends to infinity, the y value tends towards the number 2. But it does not actually reach the number 2. It approaches the number 2, and it approaches a number the, to the number 2, but slightly bigger. So that's why we put a plus. Now, if you look at x tends towards negative infinity, you notice that your y also tends towards the number 2 over this side here. All right? But like in the previous uh, case, when x tends to towards infi negative infinity for this case, your y tends towards 2 plus again. All right? So 2 plus actually refers to the number 2 but slightly bigger. Okay, now let's look at the trends of the curve when near the proximity of the vertical axis. For example, for this case, x equals to negative 1. Now we can see that on the graph, as our x tends towards negative 1 plus. Now where do you think this negative 1 plus refers to? Negative 1 plus refers to this part of the curve. No, I mean this part of the x-axis. Negative 1 plus. When you put a plus on top down there, like like so, you are seeing that it is a number slightly to the right of negative 1. Okay? So from here we notice that when my x tends towards the negative 1, my y value, which is down here, will tend towards positive infinity. Alright? And my, my x tends towards negative 1. Minus. Now, negative 1 minus refers to this part here. Okay? A number slightly to the left of negative 1. So, when my x tends towards negative 1 minus, alright, your y, it is obvious from the graph, tends towards negative infinity over this side. Okay, so I hope with this explanation of the asymptotes and the trends of the graphs, you will understand the, you will understand the lingo uh, of the way that we actually represent uh, the trends of the graphs according to what we write uh, down here in this form and in this form.